today with Make Tracks, me and a bunch of other young people that have been working with the service have been doing a beach clean. So we've been going along the beach and picking up litter in order to help the local environment. So we support young people from 16 to 29 to get back into employment, education and training. Every young person that we work with, we create their own bespoke plan um, and we try to make sure that we are as accommodating as supportive to any barriers that they've got to overcome. When I started with Make Tracks, one thing that Kat, who was my project worker, suggested was that I do some volunteer work with Bernardo's in Hove in order to be able to work on my people skills. I hadn't had a proper conversation with a stranger in years due to how anxious I usually feel, but um, that fear was almost confronted on the first day of just volunteering for them. Just due to the fact that I had been put into this sort of opportunity by Bernardo's. So we work with a really wide range of young people. We work with some young people who've even been to university, for example, and might be struggling to figure out their next steps from there. Or we work with young people who might have even dropped out of school at 14, 15 and just don't know what their next steps are going to be. We like to try and meet young people where, where they feel comfortable. So the way that I normally work with young people is that we will set actions each week and they'll be a combined effort between us. It's been a really big help for me and everyone's very um, uplifting. I would absolutely recommend this service to other young people. It has been kind of a life changer for me, I have to say. And like, again, I wouldn't be where I am now without Jess. And frankly, there's a lot that, you know, just getting the support you need can do for you because uh, we're not isolated beings, we work with one another. Before coming to Mate Tracks, I just wouldn't be, I probably wouldn't even be in this cafe, I'll be honest, or even doing this interview, um, because like I had no confidence back then. <laughs> um, but nowadays, obviously, I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> I felt like, there's that guidance there as well to sort of find out that there are things that I can do but I didn't realise I could do. I love seeing them win at whatever they want to do. Whatever that is, I want them to dream big, I want them to get excited about their futures and I want to help facilitate making a plan with them to get them there. The one thing that really stands out for me is all the young people I work with who have anxiety and really struggle with day-to-day -day things. And I just find it so inspiring that people can overcome that and do overcome that. And I think we all have our own personal struggles on different levels um, and whatever it is, I see every day in my young people that you can conquer that. Beach, please.